Well, uh, you saw the title. Maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't read it, but what it says is it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do as an entrepreneur. And what's crazy is a lot of entrepreneurs actually glorify what I'm going to talk about. And I don't want to make this seem like a video to like make you think that being an entrepreneur isn't a good thing or it's it's the hardest thing in the world. Well, it is pretty hard, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it, right? It's probably the most rewarding thing in the world as well. And I just want to say that just because it's hard for me or just because it felt hard for me doesn't mean it's necessarily hard for anyone else. This is just my story and my experience. And I want to give some context into my story because on YouTube, I really don't talk about my personal story a ton, mostly because it seems that a lot of people would rather not see that. And, and I understand that, but I also think it's important to talk about your story as an entrepreneur and just as a person in general, because it lets people see, you know, the real side of you. In a world where it's so hard to find real people and honest people, especially on the internet, it's truly important to me. And I also want to say that this video is going to be pretty deep and super honest, and it's going to go into some things that has happened in my life that I just want to give you some context about, just to know a little bit about my story. So I won't feel bad if you just want to leave and you don't want to hear what I'm going to say, but just know that, okay? Now, I had a whole script written out, but I kind of just want to talk about this from inside because that's just how I feel right now. And hopefully that this helps someone else because it does help me talking about things. And, and just, I also want to say that without you, none of this is possible. So I really, really appreciate you. It means the world to me, honestly. Now, the reason I said this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, um, as an entrepreneur is because it's directly correlated with entrepreneurship, but also because when, um, as a person, before I was an entrepreneur, I was a drug addict. I was addicted to heroin and it was terrible, right? And probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do was get clean from that. But in a way, for some reason, what I'm gonna tell you has been, uh, it's felt harder. And I don't know if that's because when you're on all these drugs, you're just numb to everything, so you don't really feel it. And when you're sober, like I am, you feel everything and that's just it's tough right and i'll get into that a little bit but i want to give you some backstory about how i got to where i am today and kind of what led up into that right so i'll be quick about the addiction stuff because some of it's really hard to talk about and i'm sure it might not be something you want to hear i don't know but i'm, I'm saying it because i want to hopefully help someone else who may be in the same situation. Maybe you are. And if you are, please don't hesitate to reach out because let me just get into it. But so basically, I um, I dealt with addiction for five years, right? So heroin. And basically, the last two years were the worst. But in that five years, I couldn't get clean and stay clean for any real amount of time. Um, I, I ended up becoming an IV user, which is something I said I would never do. And that was towards the, the last two years of my addiction. And within that two years, I went to treatment multiple times. I contracted hepatitis C. I overdosed 13 times. And I just want to say about those overdoses, um, I'm not saying that to like brag. It's just my story, you know, um, I'm not proud of it. It made me who I am today, but I also want to say that I'm very fortunate and grateful that I'm still alive because there's a lot of people who overdose one time and they're gone forever, right? And for me, either I woke up on my own, which is crazy, or someone either had Narcan that I was with or uh, there was multiple times where I overdosed in my car alone and someone found me and called an ambulance like I, I, I Can't explain it, but that's those were the hardest um, things and to, to when you're addicted to something like like I was it's it's so Crazy to look back and like a normal person would be like why didn't you just quit? You know, I wish it was that easy and uh, the first time I went to treatment I, I had my first little uh, six months of sobriety 
and uh, yeah, it was just so tough to stay clean. I, I can't really explain it if you've never dealt with it or don't know anyone who's dealt with addiction. It's, it's definitely one of the hardest things you can do. And the reason I'm telling you this is because <laughs> it's crazy that that is so hard, but something I thought would never be hard is like the feeling of it is so much harder, right? So I could go on and on about terrible stories about when I was using, but I'll just say one more story just so you can understand like the gratitude I feel and why I am the way I am and why I'm not like these people who are who are just dishonest and lying online. And, and this is the real reason. Okay, so um, I was driving one day, you know, on my way to work, I worked at a casino, I worked there for about five years. And towards the end of my using, I was I was using for about a year while I was working at that casino and on my way to work one day, I'm driving on the highway 70 miles per hour and I nod out, basically fall asleep and I veer under a bridge and I go onto like the side of the the highway and it's like, it's like, uh, what do they call those things? Like the side of the road, it, it goes up a little bit and I, I went off that, the curb basically, I went off that. And then I, I wake up and I'm like literally midair, not like crazy, like off a jump, but like I'm in midair and I'm like freaking out. I land, I start losing control, the car starts shaking and I'm trying to slow down, but I'm still going probably 50 miles per hour. And there's uh, a merging lane right to the right and there's two cars. So one goes first and I go in the middle and the other one's right there. I barely miss it. And, and then my car turns around right? And I'm going into the ditch and I'm still going super fast. I can't explain this. I don't know if you believe me, but this is just the truth. I wish I knew what happened, but my car just right as I'm out to hit one of those light poles, you know, in, in the ditch, my car just stopped and I, and I tapped into the pole. Both those cars pulled over and the one woman got out. She's like, praise Jesus, praise the Lord. Oh, my God. And then the guy comes out. They're like, do you need to call the, the ambulance or whatever? I'm like, no, I'm fine. I look under my car and it's it's leaking fluid. But I, I get on my knees and I, I look closer. It's all that's leaking is I cracked my windshield wiper fluid thing. So I, I was like, I just got to go to work. So I got out. I drove out of the ditch and I got to work just fine. You know, and even stuff like that, it didn't stop me. And there's been multiple things like this where I could have hurt myself and someone else. And it just, it never happened, right? I never hurt someone else and somehow I'm still alive. And I just want you to like grasp that all these bad things that happened to me, I, I hope you can understand that there's a better way for life, right? Now today, I'm clean for over four years. I... I'm cured of hep C, I'm, I have a thriving business, right? And all that is, is just proof that it doesn't matter what you're going through, you can always change your life for the better. And so basically, I, I still worked at that job and I, I started doing like drop shipping and then I eventually got into affiliate marketing, right? And I'm still working at that job until 2020, you know, what was this, three and a half months ago now? you know what happened, you know, all that crazy stuff. And what they did at first is they gave a medical furlough or whatever. It's like a medical leave to all the employees. And a week later, they emailed us and they let everyone go. They fired everyone. And for me, this actually was a blessing in disguise because I had been trying to work on my business every day after work, just trying super hard so I could focus now right? I could focus on my business and I was still able to get unemployment. So it was super like, I was super excited about that, right? But at the same time, a few months back, I had taken a month leave from work to see like what being a full time entrepreneur would be like. And it's a lot harder than you would think, right? Trying to because you have to keep track of your own schedule, all this stuff, right? And ever since we were young kids going to school, and then going to work, we're told, what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, right? So it's, it's difficult, but that's not what this is that was the hardest thing, right? So then a couple months into uh, all of this stuff, all the quarantine, I uh, find something out that is 
part of the reason why this was so hard for me. Um, and I'll put a picture up right here, but if you don't follow me, maybe you didn't know, but I'm gonna be a father. So that was absolutely crazy, unexpected, and uh, those emotions were very high as well. And I think that's why um, what I'm about to tell you was so hard, right? So um, a couple, I don't know, maybe a week ago now, my job calls me back and they offer me a job right and uh the hardest thing i've ever had to do was decide whether or not to go back to my job right and ultimately i decided to not go back to my job right and you're probably thinking wow that's that's great why is that so hard and like i said at the beginning maybe it wouldn't be hard for you and i and that's what i've been working for working towards whatever that's what i've been working towards this whole time that's what almost every entrepreneur works towards. But until it happens, you don't really know how it would feel, right? And even though I didn't like my job, finding out I'm gonna be a father and not having that security, it's, it's a scary thing. I hadn't I felt like so much anxiety and just like, like uh, knots in my stomach. Like the feeling was the, the hardest feel. It may not be the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but as an entrepreneur, it's the hardest thing I've ever felt and definitely the hardest thing I'm going to have to do. And and like I said, I decided not to go because I've been working towards this and, and this is what I wanted. But I just want you to kind of understand that um, being an entrepreneur, you're going to have to make some hard decisions. You may lose friendships, relationships. Um, people might not always agree with you, but at the end of the day, you have to be willing to make those hard decisions if you want to be successful. Because yeah, right now, I'm crushing it online. I, I'll be honest, I'm doing really well. But at the end of the day, what happens if YouTube got deleted tomorrow, right? Sure, I could go find another job, but at the casino, I was making $60,000 a year working four days a week. It's hard to find that job, especially without a college degree, right? And it's just crazy. Uh, <laughs> I still have knots in my stomach, you know, but I think it was the right decision. And I, again, just want to thank you because I couldn't even make this decision if you didn't support me throughout this journey. It just means so, so much to me. It truly does. And again, I know this video probably won't be as popular because it's talking about my story and people, you know, I get it. I know that's how YouTube is. But it's like I said, it's important to me to be honest with you and just be real because it's so hard to find that. And I hope, I really hope that this helps someone and maybe I can help you get to a spot where I'm at and you can do the same. And I've found throughout my journey, like I get joy from getting results and all that stuff, but nothing near the, the joy I feel in helping others. And that's why I decided to make my own program so I can actually teach you and others how to get the same results that I've gotten, right? And before I talk about the two links in the, below in the description, I just want to say again that this takes hard work. So if you're thinking that any of this stuff is easy, it's not. And I want to stress that because there's so many people out there making it seem otherwise, right? And it's just not true. So the first link in the description is the main program I promote. And that's where I make the majority of my money, right? But because I don't have a job anymore and because I'm focusing on helping others, I wanted to start my own program so I can walk people through step by step how to get similar results with high ticket affiliate marketing and YouTube. And that's what I think is so important about starting your own program. It's that you actually do it. There's so many people out there who start these programs and they don't do what they're teaching. And I just think that's fake. And the people really don't care. They just, you buy the course and then you, you go through it, right? There's no real support. And that's what I wanna do differently. And I'm grateful that I've been put in a position where I've been able to create these results and now I'm able to help other people get the same results. So if you're interested in my own program where I can walk you through everything step by step, you can apply on the second link in the description. 
Um, I was only going to have five beta members for the program, but I decided since I'm not going back to work now, I'll take one more member, maybe two, but probably just one because we're starting at the end of the month. And if you want to be a part of that, make sure you apply with the second link in the description. But if you already kind of know what you're doing and you want to get started with affiliate marketing with the program that allowed me to be able to quit my job in the first place, that's the first link in the description. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, feel free to let me know in the description down below. Not in the description, <laughs> in the comments down below. But yeah, I, I truly hope this video helps someone. And again, thank you so much for supporting me. And this is going to be the new journey uh, as a full-time entrepreneur. So <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. See you on the next video.